Have you ever wondered how to change the selection color and opacity? Or have you been in a situation where selecting the outline of a feature seems to not be showing the feature completely? In this video, I'll show you a few tips dealing with the selection color, transparency, and rendering order. Remember to click the subscribe to the channel button and click on the bell if you want to keep updated with the latest videos. Let's go. Here's some data already that is inside QGIS. Here are some polygons, which are also styled as an outline, but let's work with the polygons first. By default, when we select something in QGIS, it's going to have this 100% opacity yellow by default. So even if your layer is in a opacity like 50% or 30% or 60%, I think in this case it's 50%, it will obscure whatever is below. So you will not be able to see what is below the selected feature and that is something that we can change if we want so one option that we have is to change the selection color if we go to settings options there is under the canvas and legend the selection color so we can just tweak this and instead of having a 100 opacity we can either use the slider or my preferred method is just to click on it and use here like 50 percent click ok and ok and if we select it it's not going to do a change because because we also have the project properties. Since we have defined this default after the project is created, the project itself already in its properties has a different value, which was the original one. So we can change here the selection color and I'll put it again, 50%. Okay. And now when I click on something, it's going to have this transparency, which is going to allow me to visualize underneath my selection. So this is a little bit better than what we had before. In my particular case, I really prefer to have like the bluish color, which you can visualize in RGS. Nothing in particular, just that is my preference. So you can use whatever color you like, but I do prefer to use this one to have something like this. So that's one method that you can use. Now, usually when you're having these kind of problems and your transparency, let's say you got a full opacity of 100%. So normally when you have this, what you will resort to is to just have the outline. With an outline, in this case, when you click on something, you may end up with something that looks not correct. Like, okay, this one shows everything, but this one doesn't show all of the outline and so forth. Now, this is because QGIS is going to be creating the rendering order depending on the adjacent features and how they were created and so forth. To overcome this, you can do the following. Click on the layer styling panel to open it. And here in the layer rendering, if you click on it, there's an option that says to control the feature rendering order. So we are going to control how the feature is going to be rendered. We select that one and there is this A to Z filter that we can do here. And what we're going to do is to create this expression, which is is selected. Now, if we want to find out, you can just put selected and it tells us is underscore selected and it's going to return true if the feature is selected. So we can just use is selected and close the parentheses. Click OK. OK. And now when we click on a feature, it's going to render on the top because we're telling it that we want to render first whatever is selected. So if we select two of them or three or four, they're going to be rendered on the top. Now, if we have the transparency setting as we had before, so let's say we put 50% and OK, then it's going to look a little bit different because it's going to be showing the red also underneath. So it's not going to look 100%. OK, so maybe in this case, it's better if we go to the project properties and instead of using a opacity of 50% to use 100% because in any case, we have removed the fill on the inside. And in that case, we can just click to select our feature. So I hope that with these tricks, you are able to use it in your project.